Today, I guess you could say we're in quite the... Pickle? But today, we're heading to Atkins, Arkansas, also known as Pickle City, where this is not the birthplace of the fried pickle, it is the place where it became popularized. What's not to like about fried pickles? It's a pickle that's deep fried. You can dip it in sauce. And of course, we are going to be making our own homemade pickles today. I gotta flex. It must be done. I'm excited to get into the recipe today, but before we do that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more of my content. But for now, let's get cooking. To make pickles, we're going to need cucumbers, more specifically, Kirby cucumbers. Your grocery store might call them pickling cucumbers. How clever. Along with the cucumbers, we need some sprigs of fresh dill, kosher salt, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of peppercorns, and two cloves of crushed garlic. First, we're going to put our cucumbers in an ice bath. This will help our pickles be nice and crisp. After about 15 minutes of the ice bath, we're going to use a scale to measure out our cucumbers, dill, crushed garlic, bay leaves, and peppercorns. Cover everything with filtered water and make note of the weight. For my batch, this was 3,400 grams. The amount of kosher salt you need is 2.5% of the entire mixture. So 2.5% of 3,400 is 85 grams. Measure that salt out and pour out the water into a pot. Don't worry if some of your ingredients go into the pot. Add the salt and put on low heat. We are not cooking this. We're just bringing this up to room temp and dissolving the salt. Once the salt is dissolved, take it off the heat and add it back to the pickle jar. Make sure all the cucumbers are submerged by the water, then put a lid on that. Let that sit at room temperature for at least eight days, checking every day. Checking at three days later, we don't see too much happening yet. Just make sure the pickles stay submerged, spoon off any scum that may form on top and put that away. This is six days in and you see we're starting to get some bubbling action here. This is the fermentation process. The flavors are starting to come together. 12 days later and we have a pickle that is to my liking. We're going to take a fresh pickle and then cut them into quarters. We're going to make fried pickle spears, not fried pickle chips. Cut up the rest of your pickles and here we have our stunning pickles. Now, make sure you taste your pickle to see if it's ready and tastes like you want it. If you taste it after 12 days and it's not pickly enough for you, let it keep going. Refrigerate them for like two weeks and they will taste even better. These honestly taste better as they age. At this point, they are going to be at the lowest point of flavor. This will also be a different flavor than a vinegar pickle, but it's one I personally love and it retains so many probiotics that are fantastic for you. So after this, you can just jar them up, refrigerate them and have perfectly beautiful pickles that just get better with time. Now, before we fry these up, let's look into a brief history of Atkins, Arkansas and the fried pickle. There's a small town in central Arkansas that has a reputation in the food industry. Atkins, Arkansas was once the pickle capital of not only America, but the world. The story begins in 1946, when the Goldsmith Pickle Company of Chicago wanted to set up shop in Atkins. The company requested that the community provide $15,000 to assist with their setup and to show that the town was committed to the enterprise. Once the town raised $17,000 to bring the company in, Goldsmith bought the land and set up 57 wooden tanks each capable of holding 1,000 bushels of cucumbers. The facility, making up 800 farms over 1,200 acres to meet the pickle demand, changed hands a few times over the years, but the success stayed the same. Once the facility became the Atkins Pickle Company, there was a little restaurant across the street from the company. This restaurant was called the Duchess Drive-In. In 1963, the owner of the Duchess, a man by the name of Burnell Fat Man Austin, was trying to think of a menu item to be a gimmick for the town. He eventually came up with a pickle cut long ways, breaded, and then deep fried. It became a staple of the restaurant and it would become a popular southern staple. The Atkins Pickle Company is no longer in business and neither is the Duchess Drive-In, but the legacy of pickles lives on in Atkins. 
In 1992, the first annual Pickle Fest was held in the second weekend in May. They have a pickle juice drinking contest, pageants, rodeos, and many more events over this two-day long festival. And the family of Burnell Austin still makes and sells the family recipe of fried pickles at the festival to this very day. So if you're ever in Arkansas in the second week of May, head over to Atkins and have yourself one sweet pickle of a time. But that is a brief history of Atkins, Arkansas and the fried pickle. Now, let's get back to the recipe. Yo, let's talk ranch. More specifically, homemade ranch. In a mixing bowl, add three fourths cups of mayo, one half cup of sour cream, one half cup of buttermilk, a single bunch of green onions, three sprigs of dill, one teaspoon dried parsley, and two teaspoons of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mix that together and you have some ranch. Now, let's bread these pickles. Your breading station has three components. One egg beaten, panko breadcrumbs, and flour mixed with cayenne, salt, and pepper. Take one pickle spear and coat in the flour. Dunk into the egg wash, then back into the flour. Back into the egg wash one last time, then we go into the breadcrumbs. Put on a rack while we bread the rest of the pickles. In Nevada peanut oil brought up to 340 degrees, we're gonna add our pickle spears. Let them cook for about two minutes. Keep an eye on these, they will cook incredibly fast. Once golden brown to your liking, we're gonna take them out of the oil and add them to a cooling rack. And here we have our crispy pickles. Add them to a proper vessel and get ready for a delicious treat. There's nothing wrong with your phone. The video is not messing up either. You see this mic? Well, it's not turned on. And I didn't notice the audio wasn't recording until after I cleaned up, uploaded the footage, and ate the pickles that I made. No! You may be asking, Dan, couldn't you have just made more pickles? Well, yes. Yes, I could have. But I didn't feel like it. So I'd like to take a brief moment to commemorate the audio that was never recorded. Rest in peace, little pickle audio. May the Father receive you and take care of you. You'll be missed. I guess that's just my life now. It's fine. Ultimately, I am very pleased with this dish. The pickles and the ranch really go together to make something that I would call quintessential fair food. The crispy breading of the pickle along with the savory inside of that homemade pickle is something you can't beat. Along with the homemade ranch, which has a mild and refreshing flavor, which you don't get from the store-bought ranch. Put these two together and you have something really special that you can make at home. Thanks again for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more of my content. But until next time, see you later.